Joined now by the axe, Lewis Gordon here on Humboldt State tonight. First off, Lewis, where's the axe? Uh, it's, it's, it's in sad condition. It's really sorry right now. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the head, the head's all floppy and it's duct taped to the handle. Uh, so do we, do, do we need to make like a call to the alumni? We need a new axe? Uh, you know, I don't have any gigs left that require an so axe. <laughs> No, not really. I uh, in 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 the the entire the entire year after every football game, parade, gig where I needed my axe, it's a it's been a constant. You know where do I need to put tape or glue or screws to hold this thing together? And uh, it, it it finally finally just fell apart. So uh, your axe gig is actually recently just finished up with the uh, the new year. Talk about uh, obviously the marching lumberjacks are hugely popular. They're famous around the West Coast. What's it like when you got the nod? You are the man for the next year. Oh man, uh, tremendous responsibility. And when you when you find out when you when you run for Axe Mage and we have an election process, and then when you find out that you've been selected for for that gig, there's there's absolutely no way you can know what it's like until you've actually done it. Okay. So it's uh, it's been the it's it this this year has been the single largest personal learning experience in my life and uh what, what did you learn the most what was your biggest surprise i mean something that caught you off guard maybe or the hardest thing you had to do when you got that responsibility oh man um like like most leadership roles in large groups uh realizing that you're not ever gonna make everybody in the band happy <laughs> and uh, uh playing you know playing politics and keeping people getting People to, to to keep coming to gigs. So there's good, some good band drama. Sounds like we could maybe have our own soap opera. Oh man, you could you could make an MTV show out of it. Nice, I like it. Watch out, Jersey Shore. Here comes uh, Battle of the Axe. And, and, it, and it would actually have music, unlike most MTV shows. Today. This is true. How about actually? I like that, Lewis. I like it. All right. Well, what's uh, the next? What's a piece of advice we give to the next axe? Oh man. Piece of advice for the next axe. What I just said, realize that you're never ever going to make everybody happy and there's always going to be somebody yelling at you and storming off and things that, <laughs> and, and there's always new people who want to tell you how to do your job that have no idea what it's like. Yeah, I imagine people who have never even, you know, probably even played Guitar Hero yet want to come over and tell you how to, what song to play or how to do your business, right? It's, uh, yep, yep, always. And it's, it's a, there's, a, there's a long, long, proud history in the band of, uh, of bitching at the axe, so... <laughs> Lewis, yes. We're almost out of time. You're, you, when you reflect ten years from now on being in the axe, what do you think you'll remember the most? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not saying this just because I'm on a, on the sports program, but, but really, basketball games, especially away games, when, when the band is the entire Humboldt State cheering section, and uh, it's, it's down, down to the wire, and uh, I'm up there stomping the bleachers and distracting free throws, and, and, and uh, I've. Uh, a couple couple years ago, the uh, coach Coach Wood told Puma the Axe Major that that uh, the band is the sixth person on the court. Uh, so. Absolutely, you know my favorite part about you guys, I get to do games all over the country. You're always there, Lewis. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Our Axe Man, he is out, but he did a great job in his year. I'm Jamie Mathers.